But I just think that he's just not meeting the standards that Carl Urban and Anthony Starr uh, have have uh, met. So he's not really meeting their levels. And and it's such an it is such an important character. It's such a good character that is so key. I think a better actor would have really elevated this show and took it to the next pl plateau. The boys, them boys, man, them boys. So, so people say, okay, why didn't you do the finale thing? Why didn't you do the finale thing? And I've just been trying to think of it and everything, but I feel like I still need to give my my thoughts. Because, look, see, The Boys is very good. It is one of the best TV shows out there, and I have very, very high standards for it because they've set the bar so high in terms of writing, storytelling, and acting. You know, it really is one of the best shows out there. Like, literally, it's between this and Better Call Saul. Um, and I was just trying to think, okay, because as I watched the final episode, I was like... <laughs> What is missing? Why are, why, did, why didn't it hit me as much as it could? Because I just felt as if it took a really high peak on something, but it just sort of dipped down. I said, okay, what is it? I think the answer is Soldier Boy. Soldier Boy is a really good character. Like, if you're an actor, that is a great role. That is a really, really great role. Um, and I just... And I see Jensen. Is it, I think it's Jensen Ackles, I think. He's a decent actor. But he's not a great actor. Again, he is decent. He is a good actor. But when you look at what Carl Urban is doing, what um, um, Baby Quaid is doing as Huey, and what um, Anthony Starr is doing as Homelander, they're raising the level so high. They're raising the level so high that you have to meet them there. And I just feel like if he's at... You see, like, when you look at what Antista and Carl Urban is doing, it is really, like, top tier actor. It's really, okay, no, this is, they're really going there. But for the echoes, it's good, but it's just, it, it just feels like standard TV acting, you know? And I just say to myself that, that that's, it's such an important role, it's such a key role, that you needed a higher brand of actor there. And that's why I was thinking to myself that, you know, you could have had, um, because you could have, I've forgotten what his name is, it's the guy who plays Tommy in power and he was also in boardwalk empire really good actor but again he, he's, he's doing his own show and so he could have been busy but i thought to myself that jason isaacs english actor um you you, you must have seen him in many films like he's got a very recognizable face um i think he was in death of stalin i think that kind of comedy but he's been he's been in loads of, of films i think he would have been grateful for, for this you know because i just i just think that's the kind of energy that soldier boys around that's about was needed no, they lived in a very interesting place, which is that they bring Homelander's son. And that's not interesting because now it's like, it's now him and his son. And they've also got that um, political lady who's obviously now in there. So they're like, oh, damn, we now have to face these African dudes. So that is a, it's interesting. But I just felt that the way they went with this story, um, I felt they could have gone a different way. Because what what I thought the way what, what I thought the way going was, Homelander is this evil piece of crap, mad guy that just has to be stopped. So they get Soldier Boy to come and stop him. Lo and behold, and this is just how you just find it in life. And we even saw it even in the wire. Is you thought this guy was bad, or this guy's worse? <laughs> like anybody who's seen the wire will know that. Oh my gosh! Like you have to deal with this crazy guy in season one and season two. Then you see this psychopath you have to deal with in season four, who is way worse than what he had, you know. So with Homelander, you're like you can, you can reach him. I thought Soldier Boy is a guy where you can't reach this guy, you can't reach him with this guy. This is a whole different level of threat that is just completely to a whole different level. And they, and you now have a, a situation where you now actually have to team in with Homelander to stop this this freak. So I thought that's where they were going to go with with the Soldier Boy, but I just think that they've still meant because. Because then you're not putting it into a whole different era because it's now much more complex in the sense of, okay, is Homelander really with us? Does Mr. Homelander, yes, he wants to stop Soldier Boy, but he doesn't want to kill Soldier Boy because he still feels a connection with, with, with Soldier Boy. So yes, you're with him, but you're still like, yeah, let's work with Homelander for now. But we know that this guy is still a freak and still a bit crazy. But we don't really know what his relationship is with Soldier Boy, who is obviously a threat to the world, but he has this kind of... um perhaps father-son relationship with him. So there's all that stuff that's there that could have really made for a far more compelling 
during the ending. But look, I mean, overall, it's still good. Look, it, it is still good. It's just that I just wish it could have been more. But I, do, I, just, I just feel you, could have had, you should have had a better actor. Again, he's, he's a decent actor. But I just think that he's just not meeting the standards that Carl Urban and Anthony Starr uh, have have uh, met, so he's not really meeting their levels, and and it's such an it is such an important character, it's such a good character that is so key. I think a better actor would have really elevated this show and took it to the next plot. plot. So I think, lo and behold, I think the showrunner, I think him and the Jensen guy are actually friends, or, or they worked before, so it's like a friendship. It was like, don't bring your mate into it, just bring the best guy for the role. So.